Hi, Booktube. It's Gina. Happy Sunday. I had the funnest week last week. I had a friend come and visit, a friend that's very bookish, and we did some book shopping and some really nice eating and drinking tea and reading, and it was a really fun vacation. And I wanted to share with you the books that I bought. So um, we went to several places. She was here for five days, and pretty much every one of those days we hit at least a bookstore or a flea market or a thrift store. Um, so it was really, really fun. The first store we, we went to though, um, we met up with my friend Sandy at Ms. Reads A Lot, who um, whose channel I will link down below. And we went to our favorite indie bookstore in the area. It's a store with primarily new books, but they do also buy back used books. So I'm always on the hunt for used books when I um, am there. And I had a gift card for Christmas that I got from a, another friend. So I I got a couple of books. Um, the first one I got was actually a recommendation um, from Sandy. And she saw this book and was like, oh, Gina, this book is so good. And I really want to read it. It is called A Fine Balance by uh, Rohinton Mystery. And um, I don't know when I will get to this one, but hopefully this year sometime. And this was a good, this is a good buy. It was, it's a used yellow sticker, which I love. And then I also found a cookbook. You guys know I love cookbooks. This is the Oh She Glows cookbook um, by Angela Lydon, which is, um, oh my gosh, it's uh, vegan and a lot of raw stuff. I'm not that into raw, but I do like lots of pictures and recipes, and this just looked really, really pretty. Um, also, a, a used yellow sticker, so those were both things that I wanted, and I was very excited to find used additions. Um, next is, okay, I think we we had a thrift store, and these are two that <laughs> that my friend found, but she knew I was looking for them, so she uh, so she grabbed them for me. Um, this is Mandy by Julie Edwards, which is a middle grade story. Look at that cover. So I will read this for middle grade March next month. Can you believe March is already next month? Um, I think this is a... Um, an orphan story. You know how I love my orphan stories. Um, and Julie Edwards is Julie Andrews, the um, Mary Poppins actor. So I'm very excited to do this for March. And then I also got a beautiful edition of Nemesis by Agatha Christie. I love these pocket editions with the sprayed edges. And last year, Nemesis and a Caribbean Mystery, which are are, they're not really a series, but they share some similar characters. Um, I read these and they were in my top 10 last year. Really, really great um, Agatha Christie's. And I just, I loved that cover. Um, my friend also stumbled across this one and grabbed it and said, Gina, you have to get this. Um, and so I did. Um, okay, and then next is um, our favorite junky used bookstore. Um, which is about an hour away from where I live. There's a vegan restaurant that we love down there. So we we usually, when she comes to visit, we take a day, drive down, go book shopping, and then hit the vegan restaurant. And I found some really good stuff um, at the bookstore. So this is um, an MFK Fisher um, essays. This is As They Were. It's the enticing places, the memorable, sometimes mysterious encounters that have lighted her path over the years, interlaced with new reflections and asides. So um, very excited about this. I love MFK Fisher. She's got such a an interesting writing style. Um, let's see, there's things in here like um, Young Hunger is one. Oh, listen to this. I just, I'm just flipping through this. And the first um, paragraph, paragraph in this young hunger is, it is very hard for people who have passed the age of say 50. Yes. Uh, to remember with any clarity, the hunger of their own puberty and adolescence when they are dealing with the young human animals who may be frolicking about them. 
and that's an interesting paragraph. Um, too often I have seen good, help, good people helpless with exasperation and real anger upon finding in the morning that cupboards and ice boxes have been stripped of their supplies by two or three use, or even one, who apparently could have eaten four times their planned share at the dinner table the night before. <laughs> So, uh, so she's just, she's got really fun essays. The first cafe, a mission accomplished, about looking alone out of place. So I am excited to peruse that one. Then I got two Muriel Sparks, who I have not read before. I got A Far Cry from Kensington and The Takeover, and they had really nice covers can't really see sorry um and I I don't really know anything about them I actually have not read any Muriel Spark so I'm not sure about these but they were in really pretty condition they had really nice covers and they were used and so I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna grab those um I also got a Barbara Pym this is Civil to Strangers and Other Writings. This was published after her death and it was edited by Hazel Holt. So it's got um, a novel and then a few novellas that were edited by Hazel Holt. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna like this. I have a tendency to not really like things that were edited after somebody died, but it really depends on on how she does it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add this to my collection and it was beautiful and I love these editions. So I had to get that one. And then I also got a Chronicles of Fair Acre. It's a misread omnibus that includes village school, village diary, and storm in the village. And I almost didn't buy it because I, I have all three of the hardbacks of all of these, but I couldn't pass it up because it's got this really pretty cover and I really just like owning everything that Miss Reed published. So I had to get this one. Um, and it's just got the fun illustrations in it that I love so much. And then lastly, after I dropped my friend off at the airport on Thursday, Yes, I did. I hit another bookstore and I bought, I couldn't resist. I bought Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. I've already started this on my Kindle because I had a library edition, but I just, I've been wanting to buy this. I love the story of this author. He self-published this and then it got picked up by a traditional publisher and I, I just really wanted to support the author as well as the small independent bookstore that I was at. They had some used books mixed in and I, I just, I really, I saw this and I was like, all right, I'm going to buy it. I've been eyeballing it for a while and look at that cover. Isn't this fun? It is a fantasy about an orc who decides to open a cafe. <laughs> I mean, how cute is that? Um, so let's see, we haven't, I don't think, we've met Vin so far. This is the orc that start, that wants to start the cafe. And she, I think, is going to be the main character. And then I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet who this other person is. So we'll see. I'm only probably 20 pages into that. And then lastly, I got this, Tea is, a, is So Intoxicating by Mary Essex. This was a complete cover by... I don't know anything about it, but I really love these um, British Library editions. Um, and so I saw this and it was not expensive. It's not used, it's a new edition. Um, but uh, tea is so intoxicating. I read the first sentence and it it just grabbed me. It, it listened to this. Um, it is highly probable that the tea shop would never have started at all if Commander David Tompkins hadn't fancied himself fancied himself at being something of a dab hand at cooking. <laughs> it began one late summer when he was recovering from a bout of tonsillitis, owing to the fact that he resolutely refused to have his tonsils out in spite of his doctor's insistence that they were getting their own back on him and he would be the one who suffered in the long run. And he's at a cottage known as Higgins Potom. 
big as its bottom. So I had to get this. I'll probably get into this one next. So I'm currently reading this. I'm going to dig into this one next. I'm going to add this one to my March TBR. I'm going to set that aside. And the others are going to get shelved and hopefully read at some point this year. So thanks, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.